Alright, welcome back again. It is an early weekend special. Aren't you fuckers lucky? Right, so here we go. Again, fucking hell, we just can't stop banging them out. Right, now I've decided that in my catalogue of awesome, amazing month dishes, I haven't got a really nice omelette. Right, so what we're going to try and create today, I know it's a little bit basic, don't worry, there is a Sunday video coming tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you're going to fucking love it because it's absolutely going to be really, really nice. So, um, it won't be hold on to your bum cheeks, this is going to be spicy. That's coming next week. But tomorrow's video is another addition to one of my British uh, meals. So, but it will be fucking really, 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 really nice. So, uh, how is everyone? Uh, welcome to, now I will take an objection. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Now I am going to take objection to uh, uh, Lieutenant Sheep Unit and Lieutenant Pelosi collaborating between themselves about calling my um, shepherd's pie mutton pie it's not it's lamb and it's quality lamb so don't start i'll get a wooden spoon out because we need like lessons on hierarchy chaps right i said it's a lamb shepherd's pie it's a lamb shepherd's pie right so what's the situation so what we're going to try and gently caress in doing is we're going to try and cook off right slowly some perfect uh bacon Right, now I've got some oil in here. It's a little bit too much for my liking. I'm going to empty a little bit out. Right, I just want a pan co lightly coated in some oil before we uh, do this situation. So, right, uh, temperature wise, I'm checking. I'm going to whack it right up about six. Um, yeah, so basically, it's, it's almost going to be like a bit of a French dish. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be serving this with, now I know it sounds really simple, uh, I'll be serving this with some really, really nice, perfectly fried bread, right? It's not outstanding, but it's one of them dishes, it's like, um, um, like I will do, I think I'm going to start opening up a uh, sandwich uh, uh, playlist in my channel. So we can do like toasted sandwiches. I did attempt to do one a few, a long, quite a few videos ago, but I basically was too smashed and too uh, bombarded by basically my own amazement. Sometimes um, the problem with being too amazing is that sometimes you could be blinded by that fact, yeah, and you get bedazzled and you you become starstruck, yeah. We've got 187 in the game now, yeah? We're doing some serious fucking business, yeah? I know there's only about five or three, uh, four or five of us in the actual rank members of the game, but we are the head honchos. But the rest, we have got an 887 hardcore large sergeant fucking gang membership going on, yeah? And that's without even being like unamazing. That's because of the amazing right, washing machine. Shut up. Of being just too amazing. So, right, we're going to get on with it. Now, I'm, I'm feeding the pans up to a, a decent level. I'm going to whack the bacon in. We just want to lay it. We just lump. Turn it back down again because I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that lay of bacon. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to transmit the bacon forces first. I need to get the rest of it in before we uh, start getting too carried away, don't I? So, I just want a nice covering. Right, now with bacon, we've got to lay it in proportions to its size. Right, and what I mean by that is by like being highly unobservant and observant all at the same time. 
Okie dokie, wooden spoon might have to fuck off for a little bit. I just want to loosen this one off a little bit. It's right in the centre of the pan, which is where the, the heat's going to be. That's it. So you want to make sure, so you don't want to... Like he says, he doesn't want... Oh, I don't believe it. Right, I'm taking it off. We've got moments. Right, we've got issues. Right, the skillage of Sergeant is now on utter display now. Now, it's not about skillage, it's also about rescuing skillage as well. Because sometimes the food needs, the food can be, is not able to can cope with my Michelin skillage, yeah. You know, we're dealing with sort of like poverty sort of ingredients, right? But trying to bring them up to a special level. And it takes, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of observing of what we're doing. Right, so we've now got that bacon into a situation. Right, now at the moment the bacon's in stasis. Yeah, we've got stasis bacon going on. And what I mean by that is it's now just starting to unform its relaxity. Yeah, so now we're going to add in a bit of butter. Now, not a lot, you haven't got to go too mental, but this is going to add a lot of flavour and it's going to also texturalise and make sure that bacon is massured into a buttery scenario of cooking this yeah so we're going to stew the bacon we're doing stewing of bacon at the moment now hang on a fucking second right we're checking camera productions as well uh so in the last video of shepherd's pie i will apologize we had a bit of a uh, extra cellophane tape are hanging out over here um, I wasn't very pleased by that so but that is just how it goes sometimes so now this is what I mean by the bacon we, this we, we have to ease the bacon in yeah to where it where we want it to be okay it's not this this bit of bacon's actually falling apart but it doesn't matter because it's all going to be cut up anyway yeah now we could deep fry the bacon yeah we could just deep fry it and go, well, fuck it. We don't care. We're not doing that. Right, now, garlic. Yeah, you heard me say, you heard me correct. Now, everyone, a lot of people are going to be saying, there'll be two questions that are going to be coming up. Why are you putting garlic in bacon? And why are you putting, a, a three questions actually. Why are you putting garlic in bacon? And why uh, are you putting the garlic in the bacon uh, like you're doing so? And third question, why are you doing it now? I'm doing it now because the garlic is going to start to represent a form of bodyhood into the bacon. Yeah, We're creating a bodyhood. And what I mean by that is we're ex exploring, yeah, we're just going to sprinkle it all on. We're exploring the textures of the garlic with that bacon. Because this bacon is going to be gently cooked, all right. So it needs it needs more involvement by yourselves. Yeah. On the cooking situation, sometimes things cannot be withheld on certain developments on your cooking scenarios and your cooking abilities. Yeah. You have to be an observant creature. Yeah. Into these formalizations of critiqueness and baconage with garlic and butter. Okay. Well, I'm going to crack in a little bit more butter now. Because now I can see we've got a lot of bubblage that has started to come up on the inside of this bacon. Now to you, it might not look like a lot is going on. And you would be correct. We well, would be uncorrect actually wooden spoon again I'm getting a lot of wooden spoonage going on now we have got updates yeah there is an update ability that is going on I have been literally in a zoom meeting uh, with uh, the lower echelons of the Mitchies about an hour ago okay now we've had some good news and we've had some bad news okay now I will um, elaborate on what I'm saying 
once I've taken care of my bacon, right? Because we need to concentrate on this. Now, the bacon we have not flipped over yet. What we have got, we have got a lot of bubbleage. We have got a lot of bubbleage that's coming up in the butter. Now that is now starting to render itself with the garlic flavours into that bacon. And that's what we want. And then we've got the bacon rendering out its own juices at the same time. So we've actually got a double transfer of butter and garlic greenness going in and bacon coming out. And then that will reabsorb itself back into the flesh of that bacon. And this is the sort of knowledge that people don't get. Yeah, this is the sort of these are the individual lessons on being a Michi, yeah, on being a Michelin special, yeah. Only I can show you, yeah, only I have the ability to be able to power it through to the next side and to the next level. Right, now I'm going to have a little sneaky peek on what's happening under on this part of the bacon. And we've got some good stuff going on. So we're now getting colour on that bacon. And it's been a gentle heat. It's been a gentle, slow heat. We're not rushing this. Yeah, we don't rush this. We need this bacon, yeah, as if it was to be done very quickly, or not quickly, but on a medium heat in the oil pan. But what's missing? What's missing if we do it in the oil pan? Because we could have done. See what's missing. All this business, the garlic, the butter, that's what's missing. Now we're just going to lay, lay in bacon, just lay, it's all gentle, you know, it's like a silky smooth cap laying on a gentle cloud, just relaxing, thinking about the world, thinking about what victim it can now run the next from the songbirds of history. We're talking about a cat, yeah? They might look gentle, they might look sequential, yeah? They might look individual. But all that there for the same purpose, and that's killing Tweety Pie. Tweet, tweet, you're fucking eh, gone, right? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the execution of Tweeties, yeah? Yeah? Same thing. We're just loving this bacon into a full sense of security. That's what we're doing. Right, so, now we, we've got this bacon, and it is a longer process for the bacon, but we have to do this for a reason, all right? Right, hang on a second. Right, there we go. Right, so, now I wanna to start to be able to check this bacon, yeah? I'm not gonna be happy. Now, I can see, now like I said in the frying videos, right, we look for bubbles, didn't we? So we've got a lot of medium to small bubbles going up here now, yeah? There's a lot going on. Now I'm not happy if it isn't going on. Right, oh shit, the ash just fell in there. Right, don't worry about that, that's added protein. Um, now, once we've got that to a certain crispiness, yeah, I can already see the fat under here starting to explore itself, yeah? We're now on exploratory situations. Now I'm gonna, well we've got a bit of ash in there but it's not a problem. Right, I'm gonna turn that over. Oh, we're looking golden now. Now we're talking. And that's gonna absorb all that goodness from that garlic. And that is just basically just really thin shit bacon really. But, but it's how you cook that bacon, isn't it? Yep. It's how you explore them surfaces. And this has got, still got a little way to go. Hang on a second, again, hang on. And this has still got like a little way to go yet. Yeah. We're just, you know, we're just gently, gently foddering in. You know, we're just gonna gently mix it well. We want that garlic to brown. And that's gonna all gonna be part of the dish as well. Now, at what point do you we really take this out? This is the question. This is the question that we all ask ourselves. And what I do, yeah, is I make sure that 
I have a place to put the bacon in. Yeah. Now I'm going to call it right now because even when we take this bacon out, it's still going to be cooking. Yeah. So, and we want to lay that bacon first. Oh, oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, we're having, oh, we're having mega moments. I'll tell you what we're going to do first. We're going to do some other magic hands. Right, and there we go. So now we've got it laid out on the special tile board, okay? So now we can just transfer that bacon over, all right? Now, as I do this, I will show each individual plate, uh, portions. And we can go for go through exactly what we're saying. Yeah. So we've got the bacon pieces now. Okay. As we can see, they're all lusciously done. Yeah. I'm not going to go individually through it. Being ridiculous. Right. So we're going to take the garlic out now. It's all been nicely done. We're going to lay it out. Because now what I want this garlic to do is a very specific thing, and I want it to rest. Okay. It's been through a traumatic time. Okay, we've we've been able to um, introduce it gently into the butter and the garlic. Right. Right. Oh, washing machine's having a moment. Okay. Now, if I can find it in my special drawer, which I can't, I can, no, I can't. Can he? Can he? Who knows? Right. want uh, oh. oh, we're doing some spicy stuff now all I want to do is I want to capture it's a little bit overkill this is but I just want to capture the actual garlic um, cooking bits themselves not the, not the actual juice right. now the reason why that is is because the onions I'm going to do completely differently in this in a clean pan and I want that the reason why that is is because I want the onions to be able to have their own flavor individually so I'm just going to sprinkle on that garlic on that bacon like that there we go All right so that is basically I'm going to call a part one, a part one of what's going to be, might sound like a really simple dish, a cheese and onion and bacon omelette with some French bread, which we some fried bread. It might be, yeah, but there's one thing it won't be, and it won't be average. We're going to be doing Michelin's, we're going to be doing some severe skillage with basic ingredients like this. And that's just the bacon. Right. I'm going to call that a part one. And I'll see you as lovely people in part two. Leave with you, I suppose.